Okay, hi Linda. So I am early, it's not yet 11 o'clock. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get my drink out. Um, it did freeze when I first went live, but I'm hoping all is good. So I just need to move this wire out of my way. That's better. Uh, so do let me know when you're here. It's really weird because I'm looking straight at my phone and I've got a clip to hold my phone that's right where my head, head is. It's very odd. And that's very hot. So it's a lovely sunny day today. Um, right, I'll start with a little bit of housekeeping. Hi, Marilyn. Um, so just a very small bit of housekeeping. Um, I had some comments on the long version of my live uh, last week. If you remember, we had some interesting times with the live last week. Um, and I've had some comments that when I saw them, it looked to me like whoever left the comments assumed Vermont. Wow. Um, you're, it's early. You must, it must be really, really early over in Vermont. Um, anyway, um, so yes, if you are watching this video um, and you, it is live, you will see in the top left-hand corner a red button that says live. If while you're watching this, there is no red button at the top left hand corner or you are on YouTube, then this is not live. This is a replay. So I'm recording this video. Um, so if you don't see live in the top left hand corner, that's cause it ain't. It's a recording. So if you leave a comment, I won't be able to reply live. So don't think I'm ignoring you. It's cause I don't know you're leaving a comment. So we've got Candy's joined us, Mary's joined us. 6 a.m. in the morning, Marilyn. That is, yeah, I was awake at six um, and then I went back to sleep. I was supposed to be getting up at about quarter past six this morning and it was nearer half past seven by the time I got up. So it's been an interesting morning. Um, I had, hi Bridge. Um, and Jan, gosh, lots of people jumping on. Um, I had done most of my prep for this morning by the time I went to bed last night, but there were one or two things I wanted to finalise. Um, and yeah, it's been a bit of a rush. So Jan, are you in weekly or are you down in Cornwall? Um, I'm just going to take my jacket off because it's warm. It's lovely. Don't don't think I'm complaining. I'm just going to go and put it down. Hi, B. So for those of you who were watching last week, um, we did have one or two technical issues, which seemed to resolve themselves when I took my tablet out of the equation. So you're in weekly. Sounds like you should be there. 5 a.m. in Arkansas. For crying out loud, Candy. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm delighted that you're here, but 5am is a little bit early. Just a little bit early. Um, you may see that I'm massaging my wrist. Um, I think I may have developed RSI again. I had it many, many years ago, and over the last couple of weeks, it's flared up again. So, um, happy days! Um, I think gardening isn't great for it because I've been doing a lot of weeding and I don't think that's terribly clever when you have dodgy wrists. However, um, so what are, what while people are joining, I'll, you know, do a bit of a catch up. So it's Tuesday. Uh, this for the UK is the beginning of the third week of our lockdown, for want of a better word. Um, it's not a total lockdown. So we are allowed to go out and do, hi Ilsa! Um, we are allowed to go out and take exercise once a day if we wish, um, but we are asked to, gosh, someone from Australia, late. It must be late with you, Rene. Um, so we're asked to not drive 
to where we take our exercise. We've had some issues with people all congregating in the same place, um, which is kind of defeats the object of the exercise because we're supposed to be six feet away from anyone who isn't in our household. Um, so if everybody decided to go to Brighton Beach, Brighton Beach, to be fair, was deserted this weekend. Um, Nora's here from Ireland. Um, so, yes, um, we are allowed to do our exercise. Other than that, it's go out for essential things only. So food shopping as infrequently as possible. And some of the stores are saying, please only go one one of you go so my husband and i normally in normal world when we go shopping we both go and he does certain things and i do certain things um so we're having to change that and oh it's not too bad 8 8 p.m in australia now jackie your flag for me is about that big so i don't know whether that is australia or new zealand because i can't see any more than it's blue with dots and got a union flag in the top left hand corner. CA I'm guessing is California cat. Um, so yes, we're just entering week three. Um, our prime minister is currently in intensive care, but not so we're told on a ventilator, but he is in intensive care. There is a question over whether he did too much whilst he was ill um, or first taken ill. Uh, but obviously we're all watching that to see if he improves. Um, whether you are a fan of Boris or not, um, the fact that he is Prime Minister and clearly very unwell is, you know, of concern. Um, so what else can I say? So I have been making the most of the garden, Texas, wow. Um, so because we've been having amazing weather, I mean, amazing weather here in the UK. For the UK, this would be a good day in July. Um, so we're looking at kind of 20, 21 degrees centigrade, which for those of you who work in Fahrenheit is about 70 degrees. 21 is that tipping point, to, 21 degrees centigrade is that tipping point around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's been amazing. Um, I have, as I've said, done far too much gardening. I need to remind myself I'm not 30 any. My brain feels 30, but my body, oh boy, particularly the following morning, reminds me that I am twice that age. Um, so that could be why I've ruined my wrist again. But it's fine. It only hurts occasionally. Um, and if I stop rubbing it, that would probably be a good idea. Uh, I have, I've just realised I've been touching my face and... I have been washing my hands like nobody's business. Um, every time I leave my studio, I wash my hands. Every time I come back into my studio, I will have washed my hands. So I am going mad with washing. And I've also got, I found I had a collection of Bath and Body, this is from the States, Bath and Body uh, pocket bacteria, antibac gels. Um, I got them a, a while ago. And they are 68% um, alcohol, so, you know, they're as good as washing your hands. Um, they're just some rather interesting flavours, and I think flavour is the right word. Uh, but I have those in my craft studio, and again, I'm using those every now and again. So, um, today I will be doing this. I've got to write a couple of blog posts and shoot some more videos, and then it will be back in the garden, because I managed to dig up some of the weeds over the weekend but I have I've only done half the bed um so I've got a lot more to do and then I've got to do replanting and all that good stuff so as it is now about 10 past coming up 10 past 11 I will flip the camera for which I apologize it's going to go a bit weird um and then we'll get started so I have to get on a step to do this so I can actually see what's going on. I have positioned my camera or my phone slightly better so I can, that's my ribbon wreck, find the flip button without, yay, without um, having to work around the clip, which is what was going on last week. Sorry about this. Just want to get this set and then we're good to go. 
Okay, now for some reason that's all in shadow and I don't know why. Maybe it's just the way the camera looks. Anyway, so um, first things first, she says, as she's, oh, there it is, I've buried it. What a surprise. So Ornate Garden Suite is now live for customers. Um, I have been, I've looked at the uh, demonstrator site this morning and the inventory status report. I am only speaking to Europe here. I'm in the UK. I do not have any visibility of what's going on in other territories. So at the moment, the Ornate Garden Suite, all of the items are available um, and they are available for customers to get early. It will be in the annual catalogue, um, but you can get them early. So anytime between the 1st of April and the 31st of May, you can get them. Uh, it will then go into hiatus at the beginning of June and you then won't be able to get them until the new catalogue goes live, which is... 3rd or 4th of June, can't remember. We'll watch. Replay. Bye bye, Ilsa. Got to go to lunch. Oh, it's lunchtime. Of course, because you're an hour ahead of us. Um, nice to see you and keep well. Um, so, yes, there will be a few days between the end of the end of May and the beginning of the annual catalogue going live when you won't be able to order. Um, it will be in the annual catalogue. So, as ever these days, with stamping up suites, you can now order the whole suite in one code. Should say it's available in French, German and Dutch. So um, it's out of focus, Marilyn. There's not much I can do about that. Let me check my other screen. Uh, expand. Should say it's available in French, German and Dutch. Um, all I can say, Marilyn, is that it's not out of focus for me. Oh, better. I've done absolutely nothing. I think it may just be as the camera settles. Um, but I have got my laptop hard hardwired to the Internet so that it doesn't interfere with the signal. Um, and the fact that it's better, all I did was literally walk from one side of the room to the other just to check. So I think it may just be because the camera hadn't settled. Anywho... So, um, yes, it is available in French, German and Dutch. Certainly in Europe. I don't know if you can get it in other languages outside of Europe. As I say, I'm in the UK, um, which geographically is in Europe, even if we are in the middle of that B word that I'm not going to use. Um, so you can now just order the whole thing with the one code and you do get the discounts for the bundles, the two bundles. So those that includes the 10% off. So um, we have two stamp sets. So we've got the Ornate Thanks, which is amazing. Um, let me grab it because it's a builder. So the, this is, for me, full scale. So um, you've got thank you, so grateful and thanks, but you've got all these other words that you can put in with it. So uh, you've got why, thank you. Um, You've got my friends, seriously, all sorts of things. It's photopolymer, so it's really easy to line them all up. Um, so that's that one. And then the red rubber is the ornate style. Um, we'll come on to that in a moment. Um, and then you've got, to go with the ornate thanks, you have in the bundle uh, the border dies, which are these. Um, I've taken out some of the bits that you can then use. This, when you then use with this die, becomes this. So this is two dies. Uh, so these two dies make this. Um, this is of its own, on its own. And then you've got these two edge pieces, which you can, um, you can get a narrow strip and do it both ways. And then you've got these flowers, which build on top of this or can be on their own. Um, I love these little bits that come out. Um, don't throw those away. They are useful. Um, so, yeah, so that's that one. Um, and then we've got the paper, which I will show you very quickly. Um, I don't even, well, this isn't a full pack, but it is divine. Um, so you've got lots of florals. Um, some are foiled and some aren't. So this is all beautifully foiled. 
Um, then we've got a, what I call a Dipsy, and this is Old Olive with Gold. We've got this, which is the same pattern as this, but in gold, with a Dipsy on the back. This, which is a... No, it isn't the same pattern as something else. So that, um, with more on the back, another Dipsy. And yeah, it's just, it's really pretty. Um, so if you like your florals, that's your florals. Uh, Colours are Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Early Espresso, Terracotta Tile, Whisper White and Bumblebee. Um, Bumblebee, I am guessing, I think you may have already guessed, is a new colour, a new in colour for 2020. To 2022 so that's those bits then ornate style is the this stamp set and that goes with the layering dies which are these ones and i'm going to be using this one today um, and they do just beautifully layer up um, one of my pieces has fallen off let me see if i can find it there is another die not instantly I can't find it instantly oh no there it is I found it it's fallen down behind my there we go I thought there was a big gap there um what I probably need to do this is not stamping up card it's really furry um and I think that's why it's not stuck terribly well so we will resolve that with some Tombow so yes, so they all these all layer together. So that one, that one, and that one layer up. Um, you can see that hopefully in the picture there. Um, and then this one and this one. So that the, these line up, and these line up. This lines up with this, and this lines up with this. So really pretty. And that again, as I say, is a bundle. However, both the ornate style stamp set and the dies are low stock in. Europe. So if you want them and you're in Europe, um, then I would suggest now is better than later. Uh, there is also an ornate floral um, 3D embossing folder, which is, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's gorgeous. Uh, and uh, there are gilded gems what do they call them yes gilded gems which are like rhinestones that have been dipped in gold leaf they are gorgeous and shiny and then the final bits of the equation are a combo of ribbon in terracotta tile and old olive and you get five meters of each and it is gorgeous um so, as I say, at the moment in Europe, the ornate style bundle and the individual pieces are low stock, but otherwise everything's fine. Um, and in fact, this is the one that we are going to be using in a moment. Um, so let's keep that out because I will need it. Um, if you are interested in this set, um, then I have got a bundle of no a mega bundle of tutorials um i've got together with 90 and i do mean that 90 other demonstrators uh across the world and we have put together a mega bun tutorial bundle with 90 um tutorials in with measurements both for north american cardstock and imperial uh sorry not imperial metric um, and if you place an order with me in the UK for at least £60 before PMP, you'll get that free. If you want to buy it, you can buy it from me wherever you are in the world. And that is £17. Um, and it is available on my website. Uh, and payment is through PayPal. So it will convert if you are not in the UK. So as I say, £60, you get it for free. doesn't have to be the ornate garden suite that you spend your money on but 60 pounds you get the bundle for free and if you want to buy the bundle it's 17 pounds and you will not see the samples anywhere else so uh, that is the deal that we put together um, so bear that in mind so let's get started on 
crafting. So I've got my little bin with, I don't actually need that. Um, so let me get all my bits out. So this is the first project we are going to do. Um, and I've used the scallop note cards and envelopes. These are in the beginner brochure and in the annual catalog. Um, they are hidden. So in the beginner brochure there at the back page. Um, so scallop note cards and envelopes, you get 20, uh, five of each of the four colors, which I will go through in a moment. Um, and it's seven pounds 50 and they are five by three and a half folded. Um, and then the envelope obviously is bigger. So the colours are, um, I want to say balmy blue. Uh, they call that pale pink. I think because it's possibly not quite petal pink. And it's not quite, uh, is that different? No, I've got lots of petal pink and I can't find any blushing bride, but it's not, it's definitely not brush, blushing bride and it's not a close enough match for it to be called petal pink, but basically it's petal pink. And then old olive and, and the one we're going to use today, oops, is not that one. The one we're going to use today is terracotta tile. So let me grab one of those. So that is terracotta tile. Um, really well with, sorry, I'm throwing things around now, with the Ornate Garden Design Series paper because uh, two of the colours are already there, if you see what I mean. So, let me show you how I've made it. We don't need very much of anything, so we've got my note card. Um, I've got a scrap, literally a scrap of Whisper White. Um, are you all still there? Because I can't see any reactions at all. It would just be nice to know that things are still going. I'll have a quick check at the other side of the room. Uh, yes, it's still going. I think it's a little fuzzy, but I can't do much about that. Um, but yes, if you can actually see and or hear me, it would be useful to know. The Wi-Fi is still looking OK. So, thank you, someone for a heart. Yes, Nora, thank you. So I have already die cut. It's just so nice to know that people are there. I've already die cut the, um, the layer out of gold foil. Really easy to do. We're still here. Good. Glad to hear it, Elizabeth. Um, it's really easy to do if all big... All die cutting machines are slightly different and even within a brand they're slightly different so I have two big shots and they cut differently. Um, what I found with the, the one that I'm using today is that with the magnetic base plate which is my base plate of choice um, I needed just a card shim on top for it to be really really easy to come out. In fact there's one piece still there. Um, I mean it, it cut fine without the shim but with the shim, everything pretty much just fell out with me just flicking it. Um, so I didn't have to go in with my piercing tool. Um, but yeah, so that's gold foil. Piece of the designer series paper, which is three inches by, by, yes, I need, I need me, me eighths. Uh, oh no, I don't. It's four and three quarters. So three inches by four and three quarters. And the reason I've done it quite narrow is because of the scallop. So just bear that in mind. Normally I would obviously do it wider because if this was the front, that's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, so that's why it's slightly narrow. Um, so let's get started because it's really easy. I'm going to use some of the ribbon and two of the stamps. Now I'm sorry there's heat embossing so it will get loud but it's fine. We can manage. Uh, it'd be easier if I had my, oh there it is, my um, embossing powder of course. So embossing powder. First thing embossing buddy, do use your embossing buddy. It makes a huge difference. And then the two stamps that I'm going to use are the little floral and the ditzy. Um, 
So the little standalone daisy and the ditzy pattern. My blocks are filthy. I need to wash them in my copious free time. The number of people I know that are telling me that they've got so much time on their hands. Um, they're doing this and they're doing that and they've always wanted to do X, Y and Z. I have never been so busy. I mean, I know I'm gardening as well, but I have never been so busy. Just blow off any excess uh, powder and then just stamp and get the powder and dabble that in there. Now I have overstamped that and I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but it's fine. It's not going to matter. So I always dabble at least twice and then flick from the back uh, just in case you've got too much. And I will show you what I mean by overstamped. Don't need that anymore. Let me just clean that off. This is my, I washed this this morning, uh, chamois. I have bought myself a new one. Um, Oh, sorry, I'm jiggling the camera. Um, I have bought myself a new chamois, but I haven't quite got around to using it yet. Because um, it's so nice and clean and I don't want to get it dirty. Sad, isn't it? So that's that back. Okay, right. Let me get the trusty cheese board and then I will show you what I mean by I've overstamped it. Um... So let me see. Can you see just here? There's a mark. That is the edge of the stamp. So I over inked and then rocked. And that's why I've got that. It doesn't matter because I'm going to fussy cut it. So it really isn't a problem. So let me whiz on my heat gun. Now I will, I'll, once I've heat, heated this, I will just let you know something that I'm doing. I will do it again later, but... Oh, I love this! Oh. Who doesn't like heat embossing? Oh, alchemy. Oh, I love that. So, um, I will be doing giveaways. Um, I've just got my act together. So I will be doing giveaways associated with my Facebook Lives. Um, so I'm going to be doing Facebook Lives every Tuesday at 11 o'clock UK time. Um, this is the light soft suede. I'll give you the details in a moment. But um, basically it's all going to be around whether or not you share the video. Um, and this is this goes for both facebook and youtube so let me this is dark so saffron and i'm going to let you know about if you find that sometimes coloring over heat embossing makes the heat embossing go a bit dull um, but i will show you how to resolve that in a moment but yes so if you share this video and put in the comments shared um then you will be entered into a free draw and the prize is going to be a stamp set and I'm going to draw the prize in two weeks um, so I will put all the names in a hat metaphoric or literal haven't decided yet um, and then draw out a name in two weeks on Tuesday or two weeks today even uh, and I will put all the information about that up in a moment so that's dark so saffron wrong end dark old olive and then depending on how well you've got the stalk showing just run the tip down now if you find that your heat embossing has gone a bit dull. That's all I need these for. Ooh, and I will do it very quickly is get your heat gun and just go over it again 
and it will bring that shine back. I mean, I can see that that changed the shine. I don't expect you to have been able to see that. But yes, so it's worth thinking about that if you find your um, your heat embossing goes dull when you've used alcohol markers, just reheat it gently. So fussy cutting, I know some people are terrified of fussy cutting. The key, and this of course is where I'm going to go wrong, uh, the key is A, practice, but B, move the paper, not the scissors. So all you want to do with your scissors is open and close them. Um, that's all you need to do. Uh, practice is your friend. And if you are one of the people that seems to have discovered you've got masses of time on your hand, as opposed to you're tearing around like a wild thing, uh, which seems to be what I'm doing, um, now is a perfect time to practice. Just find pictures in magazines or something like that, or stamp images and just practice. So just, you know, stamp a whole page of something um, on a piece of Whisper White and then just practice fussy cutting. Um, and, you know, really it's, it's such a therapeutic thing to do because you have to concentrate on what you're doing and not anything else. Because if you concentrate on anything else, it goes wrong. Um, as with many things, and I've suddenly had this memory come into my head, uh, back in the day I used to go skiing and I remember it was my first skiing holiday. Actually, no, it was my second skiing holiday and I was reasonably proficient. I did dry ski lessons before I went skiing first time and that certainly helped. Um, and then the first time I went on holiday, I went to a resort in France, Courcheval, um, and it was really, really cold um, and icy, although it was quite late in the season. So it meant that because it was sunny, uh, the slopes would thaw a little overnight, uh, sorry, during the day and then freeze overnight. So it was almost like skiing on sheet ice. So I was in ski school and uh, we started with, I think, eight of us in ski school. And by the last day, I was the last man standing. Um, I love fussy cutting as well, Jan. It's just heaven. Um, so, yes, what it meant was that because I was the last man standing or woman, um, I could I got one on one tuition, which was amazing um, and ended up being taken back down mogul runs, which were not on the agenda for the level of ski school I was in, uh, but because I would, I'd been reasonably proficient at the beginning of the week, um, he allowed me to do things that I think otherwise he wouldn't have done. So I'm just aligning that so I know roughly where I want it, and then I'm going to turn it over, line it up on one of my grid lines, and grab some snail. You could use tear and tape if you rather, and then just flip that and then line this one up so that it is on the same line and do the same again. So yes, so by the time I got to the second year, I was, I mean, I did ski school again, but I was reasonably proficient and I got a bit cocky um, and thought, oh, this is fun. I, I've got this mastered now. Isn't it a lovely view? Don't need to concentrate. And yeah, the inevitable happened. I fell. Um, and it was actually a really nice year for skiing because it was powder and it was glorious. Uh, and I ended up with snow between me and my uh, sunglasses, which was interesting. I thought I'd gone blind. Um, really couldn't work out what what was going on, but it was just that I had snow between me and my glasses. Um, this was before the days when I had to wear glasses to actually be able to see. It was just to keep the amount of glare away. So... So, yes, um, the moral of the story is, and that's my roundabout way of saying, if you concentrate on what you're doing rather than other things, um, it takes your mind off things. So, yes, concentrate on your fussy cutting and it will be fine so long as you concentrate on it. So that's the terracotta tile ribbon. And as you see, I just did a straight strip and then a small piece um, 
it looks like there's been that's been tied in a knot really cleverly, um, but it hasn't. OK, so for this, by the way, this will not go through UK Post as a uh, as a standard letter because I am using two layers of um, dimensionals. Now, I've got small dimensionals, so I've used a small one there. I've got large, so I'm going to use a large one there. If you've only got one or the other, it's fine. Just use what you've got. You don't actually need both. It's purely convenience. And because I get them at a discount, um, I have both. And I've got them in the black as well. Uh, now I am going to just add a tiny bit of liquid adhesive there because I want that to actually stick to my foil. Um, I don't want the stem flapping in the breeze because it will get damaged. Um, so I don't know why I threw those away. Um, probably only need three at the most on here. And then we just need to do the inside of the card. And then this is our first one done, nearly, once we've done the inside of the card. So I'm popping this deliberately to one side. Um, my kind of mantra, I want it up a wee bit. My kind of mantra on these things is if you're going to do something not central and not square, Make it obvious that you are doing it not central and not square. Um, otherwise, it'll look as if you tried and failed. Um, actually, I might as well use the back of my garden. Ornate garden suite. Hat flyer. So on the inside, because we've got the scalloped edge showing, I thought it would be fun just to have some stamping. So let me find my stamp. Always a plan, which I got out earlier. It's sad, isn't it? Find my stamp, which I've already got. And so saffron ink. Ink it up. And I'm going to deliberately come off the edge and then just go up the edge as much as I can. In fact, I'm going to go across the top and then come in and actually that's that's probably a better size fill in the gap yes see last time i actually overlapped it and i didn't like it uh, so this time i haven't so pop that away trying very hard to tidy up as i go um sorry i was just seeing someone else has joined um, Christiane, is that how I pronounce your name? Probably not. But then, hey, with a surname like mine, nobody ever pronounces mine right. Um, it's the other bit that has to go astray. So, fold that in half, find my ever elusive bone folder, and I'm going to do this from the back just so I don't catch anything. And there is our first project for the day. So that's the Ornate Garden Suite, or an introduction to it. Really quick, really easy. I mean, sorry about that. We're back. We're back. Sorry, don't know why that happened. Um, anyway, so yes, there we are. That's that's that. Um, so let me get rid of that and grab my next little box. See, organisation. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello. So that suite is available in Dutch. You probably know that. But the Ornate Garden Suite is available in Dutch. It is one of the very few that um, is available in Dutch. Um, so whilst I remember... The prize for sharing is one of the Celebration stamp sets. It's the Happy Birthday to You stamp set, which is red rubber. This is brand spanking new. It's, you know, not been touched. Um, so if you share the video either, well, wherever you share it, and then just put shared in the comments, and I'm going to draw this 
on the Facebook Live on the 21st of April. So um, I will post it free to anyone in the UK. If you're not in the UK, we will have to have a little discussion about that. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. So this is my next project. So really quite different. Uh, this was a stamp set I swore I wouldn't get. I do just need to have a drink because my throat is getting a little dry. And my drink is still very hot. Um, the Beautiful Moments stamp set, which is in the mini catalogue, I was not going to get. I swore blind I wasn't going to get it because I just wasn't going to get it. Because I've got Beautiful You and I've got A Good Man and I just thought it was too much the same. And then I succumbed because it's gorgeous. I saw lots and lots of really pretty projects on it. So this is, it's on page 28. It's a million dollar achiever stamp set for Jackie Williams. And here I've got, no, no, I said I wasn't buying it. And yet here I am with it. Um, and I'm so thrilled that I've got it. It's so pretty, uh, great for summer, great for um, and as I say, this is the project we're going to make. So I need just three stamps. Uh, I need my bigger block. I've got my eye block, which I will use for my lady. And I need thinking of you, which will go very nicely on my B block. And... The small floral, which because I haven't got two B blocks out, I will put on a C block. Um, pad, actually, I've got the wrong, that's the wrong one. Let's change that out. Uh, I, in my original, I used crumb cake for some of the stamping. I'm using Sahara sand now because I think it's going to be better. Let me grab my bits and I've used the dies, the scalloped rectangle dies from the um, the set that goes with So Sentimental. Let me find it. Um, now, I had a comment on, hmm, can't remember if it was Facebook or YouTube, um, about the fact that I store my dies in the same case. As, sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once, which will never work. Page 20. Um, in the same case as my stamps, particularly my red rubber. So it's this is the so Stitched So Sweetly dies on page 20. Um, they are gorgeous. Uh, so the concern was that I would be damaging my red rubber stamps. Now, it's not such an issue, I think, for the person concerned. Uh, with photopolymer because photopolymer you've got the sheet over the top um, these aren't actually sharp is my thought process um, they, they, they work by pressure thank you Elizabeth nearly forgot about that about which sorry Nicola I have no idea what that was anyway um, I have hi Pat uh, so yes they're not sharp the the way that dies work is pressure um the more pressure you put on them the easier they cut uh so i'm really not worried that they're going to cut into my rubber stamps because they won't um so yeah anyway it's the two largest that i've used for this project and i have already used them so let me show you what I'm using. I've got, I say I've already used them. Yes, I have. So I've got a half a sheet of soft suede. Um, oh, you nearly forgot about the live. Okay. Um, so half a sheet of soft suede. Uh, I do long and thin because it's easier for photography. Uh, I've got a piece of the perennial essence. And I do mean the perennial essence, not the lily pad impression. So this is not the celebration paper is what I mean. Uh, this is in the annual catalogue. So this is petal pink. So I've used the matching vellum. So this is uh, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. 
it's my usual layer so I will have the layers in my on my blog post when I post this as a video so I will sh upload this to YouTube and do a blog post to go with it with photographs and such like um, and I will have North American measurements as well because I'm nice like that so this is the matching vellum in the largest of the scalloped rectangles this is the next one down in crumb cake and this is what we're going to be stamping on so soft suede now I should say I found this on Pinterest it was something that was shared at the Australian on stage um, back in November so it's been shared about a bazillion and one times it keeps coming up in my feed um, so yeah so I've inked up with soft suede and let's push that up a bit because we might be in the shadows uh, and I'm coming a bit towards the top but mostly to well I'm erring on the side of going towards the bottom I guess uh, and sort of central and then hold it in place so that your ink can transfer the number of people I see who go bing boom and think that everything's going to be wonderful uh, unfortunately it won't be um, I say tap three times and hold your ink hold your stamp onto your card for three seconds you know I mean it doesn't matter how many times you tap and it doesn't matter how long you hold it to your card so long as you do um, but th three is an easy number to remember so we need that to kind of dry a bit so whilst that's happening oh I know what I didn't get out but that's easy because it's just there you also need a white liner for your inside of your card so I'm going to do the inside of my card whilst I'm waiting for that to dry fully uh, so again soft suede and thinking of you and that's going there like that and don't need that anymore for anything and then I'm using Sahara sand this time as I say I used crumb cake for the first one and I will show you the difference but I decided it looked too dark so I'm just putting this down in the bottom right hand corner it reflects the same pattern oh yes that's much better same pattern as this so you could make this longer if you wanted a whole page of it um, or a whole width of it um, but it's nice to then use it for the inside of your card so when I did it originally I used crumb cake and it just didn't sit right I think that's a better match than that but that's just me um, why am I umming the whole time I have to get back to work Oh, sorry you've got to go to work but thank you for joining me um, enjoy work right so colouring well yes not really um, where did I put because that was fairly fundamental where did I put my oh there it is chalk right chalk marker chalk marker brilliant so this is just going to be white bits now chalk marker tends to go whiter as it dries uh, it can peel your card so don't let it get too wet uh, and if it if you want to do extra layers wait for the first layer to dry before you add the second layer um, but all I'm doing is just now you could probably use your um, white watercolor pencil I might try that on the back in a moment I'll just do this and just little flicks is all you need there's no kind of right or wrong it's just to add a bit of depth um, I try to kind of put it near where the stamping is but other than that it's yeah just easy so as I say if you need to layer it up you can do that just wait for the first one to dry and I store my chalk marker 
horizontal, not vertical. I did start when I had my first chalk marker. Um, I had it vertical and it did horrible things to the nib. Uh, storing it vertically, uh, horizontally rather, I have had much better results. So so that's with the chalk marker. Let me just grab my Vertical pencils because what it doesn't say on um, Pinterest is because most of the pins, as I say, have come straight from a photograph at um, the on stage. Uh, it doesn't say what it was, what's been used. So yes, you could use your watercolor pencil, um, and again, just layer it up. So either would work, but it's just such an easy technique. Uh, so yeah, right. Okay. So on the subject of doing things deliberately crooked rather than slightly, I am going to lovely combination of colors. Thank you, Nora. Um, I'm having to read the comments through the clip, which is kind of interesting. So I'm just adding some snail to my the back of this, and I'm going to have it going kind of offset. So I want the corners to be just inside the stitching. That's just how I, oops, not straight. Um, so I'm just, if you line up two, you should find, or not, uh, that the other two fall in place. So that's better. So it's just, it's not hugely crooked. And I'm just going to press it from the back. And this is why you do not use snail on vellum if you are going to have it not covered. Um, I'm actually going to just come in with my bone folder to get a really good impression or adhesion so that's that then again i'm coming in with my card base and i just need or my mat rather i just need to cut actually let's grab that because i need to find out how much i need let me just cut. so this is the petal pink what do they call it they call it Organdy striped ribbon. This is in the annual catalog. Um, it's gorgeous. So pretty. So again, decide where you want it. I'll try and get it roughly where it was before. And then flip it over. And I love this suite that it's got, you know, kind of busy patterns on one side and what I would call plain on the other. Um, I just think it's genius and then that goes across there see I have to concentrate on these things and then I will put a little bit of snail in the middle just to be certain particularly as it's going to be covered up uh, card base hello from Scotland hi Mari thank you to say it's not it's not original one of the uh one of the samples from on stage in sydney that has been shared all over pinterest uh but with very little information about how it's made um so pop some tombow down the middle that just makes sure that it's going to stay in place, particularly if you if you live in a humid area, um, you can find that your tombow, uh, that your snail lifts. Um, I want more dimensionals. I might actually use the edges. Sticky scissors. Yes, I am that sad. I have glue scissors and non-glue scissors. I must get another pair because I want ribbon and non-ribbon as well. Um, I did a fashion design course in at college. Uh, I went to what was then the London College of Fashion and is now apparently part of the University of the Arts University of London or the London University for the Arts. Anyway, um, it wasn't when I went. 
uh, it was just a college um, but we were we got beautiful I mean amazingly beautiful um, scissors for dressmaking um, and woe betide if you use them on anything other than um, fabric because they paper is the worst for blunting scissors and I have still got those scissors they weren't terribly expensive we bought them from um, a trade supplier uh, and I think I think I mean I am going back a long way I was about how old was I 22 yes I think I was 22 when I went to college college and I think they were about five pounds or under five pounds now the key with if you're doing something skew with is to make sure that the focus isn't so ignore the vellum and focus on the crumb cake piece and that is what you want to have straight now if you're worried about these things you can always get a ruler so you can I mean I'm not going to I just do it by eye so that's just under two centimeters and that's just under two centimeters so to the edge of the paper I should be saying yeah so that is actually even I've not moved it I didn't measure it you saw me do it it's just there uh, but don't get fixated about it right I am going to add just three pearls you may not have noticed them on the original but they are there so I'm having one just there I like having threes or odd numbers of things but triangles in particular are great for bringing the focus into something now the original with this was further down so if it was there that would be wrong so I'm going to pop it there so that it's connected it just helps bring the eye in it's one of those weird things that just works uh, it's something to do with um, uh, design concepts um, it's how our brains work. It probably doesn't work in countries where uh, you don't read top to bottom, left to right. But certainly for top to bottom, left to right, it does work. And then just pop that preferably straight. This is why I like uh, liquid adhesive. There we go. And again, I like to press from the back. There is our second card so that's that let me pop all that away and bring in my last card which i prepped for last week so but we've kind of run out of time courtesy of facebook throwing me off my own live and various other issues so bear with me um because i've got to remember how i did it um i think i sort of do but totally the other way now so we're going male and I have changed my design a little bit um, but only a little bit so this is a boy birthday and I do mean boy not man um, and we've got all get up to celebrate and we've got oil smudges and a sports car um, so two ink pads two colours of blends two I say stamp pads, a uh, uh, stamp set. I've got the geared up garage and matching dies. And from the well said set, I've just got the, uh, what are they, well written dies. And I've just got happy birthday. Um, it's got, let me just show you. So wishes, love, you, thanks, sympathy, happy, and other bits. Uh, bride, friend, Groom, Miss, Baby, Welcome, Birthday, and then more bits. So there are 24 dies. It's in the annual catalogue um, and it's part of the Well Said selection. And the Well Said has two stamp sets. I love it. I use it all the time. So let me, where have I oh, thrown my card away? I have changed that one thing. So I decided that the background was too flat so I've used the brick die a uh, brick um, 3d embossing folder now if you have any problems with 
your sandwich for your embossing uh, for your embossing for your big shot today's blog post the kind of what i would call normal sandwiches so die cutting and embossing using folders um, so do go and have a look at that because this i had to use the blue plate because this is one of the new 3d embossing folders but it's all over there so do go and have a look at that if you are ever worried about um, sandwiches so that's the brick wall and i have already die cut from the geared up garage um, so this is the die set um, oops let me i will need that in a moment um, you can see I haven't actually used a huge amount of it because some of my labels are still floating around. Uh, but I have used the background cogs and, and the triple cog. And I've done that in copper, copper foil. So let me pop this all together for you. I should have somewhere, yes, a scrap of Whisper White. So that is for my, let me get that out. I only need two stamps, no, three stamps. So we have got, I need to do some switching around. Nope. Long thin for my car. Oops. That I think just, fits on my G block, yes. And I need my C block for that, which is currently housing some lilac. On again. Oh, sorry, we, were, we went again. And I don't know when we went. Anyway, um, so I'm using, as I say, geared up, um, geared up garage. So my car, I'm going to ink up with tuxedo black. and stamp and pop that over there uh, while that is drying because blends and memento are great just not great when they are when one of them's wet uh, smoky slate and my scrap again i'm just going to add some start over there some splodge across the bottom of my liner and then don't need that anymore real red for all geared up to celebrate. Not beautifully stamped, but it's stamped. Uh, I think the answer to that was actually not beautifully inked, but it'll be fine. Uh, so let me get rid of my... Now what you can do with that, if you ever have that problem, this is where you want your stamp and write marker because you can then come in and touch it up. Now this is not a solid stamp, uh, so you don't want to go mad, but you can add in a bit of extra color. So that looks less problematical. So that's one of your uses for your stamp and write markers. Right, okay, so I'm saying this is dry, fingers crossed. Um, there are various schools of thought about how you colour with blends. I switch between them. Uh, some people say put all of your light down and then put in your shade and then go back over with your light. Uh, some say put your dark down and then do your shading with your light. And as I say, I switch between the two. What I would say is that it is better to work in small areas than in larger areas, because then you've got some hope that your 
blends will actually blend otherwise they could dry out so you want your ink to stay slightly wet as in not bone dry and by ink I mean the blend um, in order to get a good shade now that I decided was red so if I did all of this in the light and then came back in and did the dark it wouldn't blend as nicely is what I'm saying you'd get more of a line but I do like the whole doing an area at a time gosh my voice has suddenly gone very croaky and what that area looks like is pretty much up to you but find yourself a line um, to ring because my husband's at home he knows I'm doing a live and it's we have a voicemail and I would answer the phone for to be honest is if it was my father during a live it will disappear in a minute it will disappear in a minute there we go answer phone clicked in so in silver in inverted commas now i'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me do all of this because it is quite a long process if you want to get it done nicely but you see what i'm doing um, so i'm adding a bit of color then blending it out blending it out i will just show you what i do for the windows and then i will show you how i then change everything Eye on the shading if you would rather and then come back in and there we go now um it looked fine when i finished it but then i decided i was going to take it a step up because why wouldn't i so fine tip glue and you want to try and avoid what I've just got, and that's a bubble. I thought it would be fun for the glass to have a shine. So fine tip glue will dry clear and slightly proud. Um, so it is a really nice finished effect. So if I bring in my final version or the one I finished let me pop it over here I don't know if it's yes just you can pick up can you see on the windscreen I've got shine and then what I also did um, was on the grill so I did fine tip glue on the headlights and the windows and then on the grill and the wing mirror I used some wink of Stella but and you do need to leave this to dry half an hour ish it depends on the temperature um but about half an hour or overnight if you can but i have done a blue peter special so here is one i have prepared earlier um although i didn't put the wink of stella on so let me show you where i put the wink of stella so clear wink of stella on the grill and the bumper so basically anything that is chrome clear wink of stella anything that is glass fine tip glue and I'm thinking the wheels are alloy rather than chrome so I haven't put it on the on the wheels I know I'm sad so that is that die cut so let me put it all together and show you what I've done now I did add on my original some um ink splodges so these um i don't think it needs it now i've got the brick so i'm not going to add them now i did cheat did i cheat no i didn't oh good grief i thought i'd put sticky back stuff on here but i didn't okay uh i was my facebook account was hacked last monday night as in a week and a bit a day ago um 
and I mean hacked really quite nicely. Uh, and someone decided that sending around a viral YouTube video in my name was a tremendous idea. Fortunately, people spotted that it was a problem uh, quickly and let me know, except that was 11.30 last Monday evening. I was just about to put my head down in bed um, and um, I spent the next hour trying to sort the mess out. Thought I had done so, only to discover that although at that point I had done five password resets in a hope to convince Facebook that I really was me, um, I then had to do one during, and I do mean during, my last Facebook Live because it allowed me to do 10 minutes and then told me my account was temporarily suspended. Thank you so much, Facebook. Um, I didn't pop this up on the previous version, but I'm going to. So, yes, that was fun. I was not a very happy girl um, last Tuesday. Uh, and then later that afternoon, they asked me to do a password reset again. So I think I'm on my seventh password. Actually, now I want that a little higher up. So, yes. Oh, joy. Uh, then I want birthday first. Did I put... Please tell me I put... Yes. So I put double-sided sticky sheet on the back of this. Um, we don't sell it anymore, I'm afraid. I bought masses before it went out of stock, but it is great. Uh, otherwise, just put tiny little drops of glue. And I will show you what I mean by that in a moment. Um, so I would just go, you know, little dots um, of Tombow. If you haven't got the sticky back sheet. Um, oops, there's a join in my sticky back sheet. So, yes. And I love these. We don't do these either. They're craft tweezers. Hello, Rose. Um, that when you let go, it holds the thing in place. So really useful. Uh, they're very, they are readily available, obviously, at the moment online. Uh, and then this just goes up in the top left hand corner. And then we are pretty much done other than sticking my liner in. So um, I have got some housekeeping. Don't rush off because I do just want to go through some back end housekeeping. Before we run away, uh, this time I have folded the card this way because this is actually for um, an order that I've got. Um, our village has quite a few uh, quite elderly and um, at risk people. So I have told them that any if anyone wants handmade cards or cards, um, whilst we're in lockdown just to let me know what they want and I will make them up for them and this was one of those requests so it was for I think it's a 10 year old boy um can't remember but a young boy who likes cars I have to say it was quite an interesting phone call that I had with this particular lady she's she had quite a few that she wanted and she said I want to pay and I was saying no 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 this is just you know I'll just do them um if you want to give any money to anything, donate to charity. Um, so, yes, it was quite interesting. She said, I want this and I want that. And I want, I'm thinking, have I got that? And I was sort of mentally saying, oh, yes, I can use that for that and that for that. Um, so it kind of worked OK. So there we are. So this is the one with the brick. This is the one with the splodges. And I've popped the car up on this one and not on this one. And I do think I prefer this version. But do which one do you prefer? The brick wall? Or the oil smudges. Right, housekeeping before you go away. So, as I said earlier, for those of you who joined later in the in the live, um, or for those of you who are watching on a replay, um, I have got oh, I have buried 
I'm doing a giveaway, free giveaway. Um, all you have to do is share the video uh, and put in the comment, and that's this is for both YouTube and Facebook, shared uh, with a D, because I'll be looking for the D. Um, so share the video and then put a comment shared by the end of Monday, the 20th of April. Um, and that's wherever you are in the world, because I will then put all those names on Tuesday morning. I will then put all those names in a hat and pull one out. So I'll be doing a draw live on the 21st of April. Um, so that's and the happy birthday to you uh, celebration set. This is new, unused, um, is the prize. I will post it out free to the UK. If you're not in the UK, we will have to have a discussion. Uh, so that's that. Um, in fact, let's bring in my piece of paper. Uh, the host code for April, which is on my Facebook page, a business page at the top, um, is here. It's also all over my website. So if if you're buying with me in April, that's the code you want to use. And then you get a free product from me. You get a thank you card that you can then use. So I don't write in it. Um, and at the moment, I think giving out thank you cards is the least we can be doing. So, you know, if you're going to the supermarket and um, there are people there working, why not give them a thank you card? Um, the postman, the, for me, UPS delivery man, all those sorts of things. Let's just be appreciative of the people that are going out and actually risking getting the coronavirus and keeping the country running. Um, so, as I say, shop with me uh, and you get a thank you card and a thank you gift. The gift is normally something edible or something fun. Um, it's just a bit of nonsense. And then if you use the host code, you also get free product. And I get the same thing for everyone. And that can be a stamp set. It could be a chamois I did once. Uh, it can be um, rhinestones, all sorts of things. Ribbon. I did ribbon recently. So that's the host code. Share on Facebook or YouTube for the free draw. Got two tutorials running. I had, I mentioned one at the beginning. So I've got um, a tutorial for fifth, sorry, eight, there, no, 90, nine zero um, tutorials in a mega bundle. So I've worked on with uh, 89 other demonstrators across the world. If you place an order in my online store, that is a single order of at least £60. You get that for free and I'll send it out as quickly as I can. I have got it available. I've got one I need to send out already. Um, so that is free with a £60 order. If you want to buy the tutorial and get 90 inspirational um, ideas and the they are step by step, they've got close up video uh, photos, um, They've got both North American cardstock sizes and international A4 sizes, so they are good for anywhere. If you aren't going to be able to place an order with me, you can buy that for £17 in my, um, on my website. If you go to um, Creativity and Tutorials, I think it's the tab. I changed the name recently. Um, it's under the tutorial, so £17. If you place a £45 order, and these are all excluding PMP, you will get the tutorial from the Glam Squad. Um, there are eight of us who do two projects each a month. Uh, April is, I think, birthdays. I must do my tutorials. Uh, and that's free with a £45 order, or you can buy it for £15. Uh, you can buy old ones I joined in March so I've got the uh, March tutorial available to buy at the moment £15 they are exclusive to that bundle you will not see them anywhere else March was animals but they were fairly they were things that you can use other things instead if you aren't heavily into animals so that's that now something I'm thinking about is whether you would be interested in having the packs for uh, coffee and card so you can craft along with me um, things I cannot send out in packs cannot send out stamped images I can send out die cuts but I can't send out stamped images um, but most of what I've done today apart from this one um, 
yeah I would say pretty much the other two you could switch out stamps that you've got so that yeah so would you be interested in having those obviously I would need to work out getting them to you in time for the live but let me know if that's something of interest oh and I've checked the uh, updates this morning and the inventory list uh, the main update is that stamping mist if anyone is waiting for their stamping mist uh, it's on its way yay there are quite a lot of back orders to fill but once those have been filled there will still be sufficient to place orders as well so keep an eye on the online store for that um, it will currently it's not orderable but very soon it will be orderable and it will be first come first served on the amount that is available once back orders have been done but it is on its way things are beginning to come through and thank you very much that's kind of it from me are there any last minute questions while i have a little bit of a tidy up i might even flip the camera again scary times let me see if i can work out how to do it so change that you to hello again hello is tombow available oh yes absolutely tombow is available uh, there's a change to the item number but if you put in if you do a search then um i think even if you put in the old item number it reverts automatically to the new number um but yes tombow is available i have stocked up it comes slightly differently packaged so this is the new packaging so it actually comes on a hangy thing whereas it used to just be wrapped um and at one point it came in a bag but this is the new current tombow but uh, because this isn't packaged for stamping up it doesn't have the number on it so um, I can't tell you what that number is but yes um, I think the only glue that might not be available and I'm not even convinced that that's not available is the fine tip glue she said having just used it um, but tear and tape mini dots um, dimensionals they're all available. Whilst I clean stamps, as I say, are there any other questions that I can answer for you? So, Nora, are you able to get your parcels? Because I know at one point you weren't able to get out to get your parcels. Or have you managed to get someone to pick them up for you? Because I know you have a... you have your parcels sent to a central point um you know i'm just curious oh and um if you are already a customer of mine uh there is a package on its way to you whether you have ordered in the last couple of weeks or not so i've sent out my uh march thank you gifts um, and that included the people who placed, I've lost a stamp, um, the people who placed orders and got the, uh, celebration. Oh, maybe. Okay. Um, so there was, I have lots of celebration paper left over. Um, and I did say that if you placed an order with me, the first, I can't remember how many people it was now, would get a quarter share of that. So those have all gone out, uh, as have the uh, thank you product gift. Um, they went out yesterday, but anyone else who ordered from me in the last year has also got a thank you card coming to them and a little bit of crafty care package um it's nothing much it's not nothing to get excited about well i mean you can uh, but it is just a little thank you from me for supporting me because this is my business i run this as a business um so 
um, it's just me really saying thank you. Okay, so that's kind of it from me. Thank you very much indeed. I will be saving this um, and I will also be uploading it to YouTube later in the week. Uh, I will do a blog post for it with close-ups of the cards and the domain and a full product list. So if you want that information, that will be over on my blog and then it will also, the video will be on the YouTube channel. Do remember, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would be immensely grateful if you would. Um, and always a thumbs up is, um, is sorry, I was just reading a comment. Uh, a thumbs up is always appreciated, but subscribers is really appreciated. And obviously, if you're in the UK and can order from me, that is even better. I would love to um, have you try out my customer service. So thank you very much indeed, and I will see you again next week. Uh, and in the meantime, keep safe, keep well. Um, first time you've caught me live in Australia. Yes, I know it's quite late at night in Australia, I think. Um, it's always the same time. So it's a Tuesday, 11 o'clock UK, uh, UK time. We're currently on British summer time. Uh, so we changed our clocks a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yes, it's always 11 o'clock UK time and they seem to be running about an hour and a half. So it's... Oh, and Linny's there. I didn't notice you were there, Linny. Hello, Linny. Thank you, Nora. And do keep safe because I know you've got to shelter yourself. Um, and hopefully you can get someone to pick your orders up for you. And I will see you all in a week, if not before. I will be popping on periodically. Periodically, can't say it. Um, hi, Lynn. Lynn, you're right at the end of my live. Uh, but it will be going up as a recording and it will be going on, on up on YouTube. We had a few technical issues today, but not quite the same as we had last week. Um, we just had a couple of um, hesitations. Just joined, been on. A conference call. Are you still working, Linny? I'm assuming you're working from home. Um, but yes, 9.30 in the evening it's in Australia. So it started at 8 o'clock in the evening and now it's nearly 9.30. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. And as I say, if you, if you share the video, uh, either on Facebook or when it's over on YouTube, um, Oh, well, I'm glad you're still getting work to do because that kind of helps, I think, a bit. Um, so, yes, if you share the video, then um, the happy birthday to you stamp set could be yours. Thank you very much indeed. And I will see you again next week. As I say, I will pop into probably on my Hangout page, Crafty Hangout, uh, just to check in with people. Um, so, yeah, see you all again very soon. Bye bye. Oh, oh. Sorry about that.